Hi, this is another It Gets Better video. Yes, it does. I'm sure everyone's been telling you that once you get out of places like school, that's when your life starts to get filled with people of compassion and intelligence and humor and integrity. You'll be drawn to the right people, the right people will be drawn to you. Everyone's telling you that because it's true. Okay, so you say, oh no mister, not here, not this place, you have no idea. Okay, well, if it's so bad where you are and you feel like it won't ever get better there, then start making plans to get the hell out. Get out and get on with a life that's worth living, and it will be. You can go anywhere. There's so much to see and do, so much adventure and excitement, uh, so many people to meet and love, so much joy and laughter, and some heartache, some regret, but so much f music and food and sex. It's great. You'll love it. You don't want to miss any of it. Okay, I won't lie to you, it's not all wonderful, but it's all amazing and enriching and you won't want to miss it. So get out there and go somewhere and become who you will be because you're not there yet. And experience your life. Don't give up on it. Listen, I don't usually encourage anybody else to come to California. It's pretty crowded already. That's because it's so rad. So in your case, I'll make a happy exception. And if you're not here already, please come. Come to California. It's one of the places that's usually better. It's a decades-old tradition for young gays to leave home and come here to West Hollywood, a very gay-friendly town with a very gay population. On any given day, the part of that population could be found here at the Abbey. In fact, statistics have shown that by age 40, 73% of gay men in America have found their way to this bar at one time or another. I guess this. Right here might be Homo Central, the epicenter of gayness in Southern California. But it's not like you have to escape to six miles of this spot anymore. You don't have to choose West Hollywood or the Castro to get your gay on in peace now. Really realize it or not, we're living in the best time it's ever been in the gay in America. And that too is getting better every day. You can live practically anywhere and be gay, okay? Well, maybe not anywhere. But in most of California, no one will look twice at you if you walk down the street holding hands with another guy. In fact, you can go just about anywhere in America if you stay within roughly an hour's drive of an ocean. We happen to have an ocean here. It's been a long time since anyone's thrown my head against a locker. It was messed up getting called names and getting beat on, but that all changed once I got out of school, got out of my lame hometown, and started to make up my own life and who would be in it. And okay, yeah. It gets better when you leave home, it gets better when you grow up. But what about now? What if you needed to get better right now? You don't have to wait to start making changes. You can start tomorrow. It can be really big changes or changes in you. What if fighting back is not a practical option? Maybe you could try turning the tables of taunting. I mean, it's getting pretty obvious nowadays that anyone demonstrating a strong negative interest in other people being gay will look pretty self-hating gay to the rest of the world. You might try pointing that out. And if that seems like too dangerous a tactic that might get the shit beat out of you, it never hurts to practice strengthening your own self, to resolve to let no one else define you or demean you, to come to know yourself with love and acceptance and confidence. I know that's not easy right now. You're at a part of your life, believe me, where that process is just beginning and you've got a long way to go. But you can help it along at any time. For starters, of course, if you're the one being bullied, they're the assholes, not you. Know that and be supported by it. And if you can't be enough for yourself all the time, and who of us can be, get some allies, uh, friends, counselors, your parents, uh, a support group. Can't find a support group? Start your own. I bet you'd be surprised how many kids at your school are anti-fear and anti-hatred. Maybe not a lot at your particular school, but I bet more than you think. Those people are the future. You are the future. You're anti-fear and anti-hatred, aren't you? Yeah, you are a big part of why it gets better. But that's enough? You seriously want everything to stop so that the fucked upness will stop? Well then, make a big change. Get out now. If you can't get into a different school, if you can't get your family to move if that's what it takes, then as challenging as it might be, leave school, leave town, run away, do whatever it takes. Does that sound drastic? Maybe, but not as drastic as killing yourself. If it's coming to seem like that's the choice you're left with, what have you got to lose? Oh, I've been there. I remember when I thought suicide was the answer. 
it was short-sighted to say the least. It's crazy how often I look back and I'm really glad I never killed myself those few times I really thought I was going to. Not only did life get so much better, I got so much better. So much more strength and resilience and, and love. Everything improved. It, it's not just everything around you. I'm such a better person and I'm so glad I got to be that person. Of course, you won't always feel the way you feel now. And you can scarcely imagine all you've been missing. I hope you realize that. Put it into the mix of your thoughts that no matter how fucked up it is now, you can scarcely imagine how brilliant you're amazing. It's your next to you. It gets better. If you don't believe that now, then at least you must realize that everything changes. You can help make those changes, or you could just make it through. But you must. If you're one of the people being targeted or tormented because of who you are or how you express yourself, it's not your tormentors we need in this world, it's you. Don't leave this world and leave us them. Yeah, the world gets better, but not as best as it can get if you're not there to make it better. And better it will get. So big changes are small, right now or someday later. Whatever you do or don't do, time is on your side. Come and see the future. I think you'll like it.